like it. I like it. I'm feeling this one today. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Rad Toronto, and welcome back to the next level fear show. Let's get into it, man. Why is it that? Why is it that men tend to ask this question today? This is a new thing. What do you bring to the table? And that seems to be like the, the number one question today. Like, what do you bring to the table? And honestly, they they got the the question from Kevin Samuels because he was the one that pretty much brought that out there. He kind of started the trend, but frankly, it's you should already know the answer to that. As a young man today, you should already know what a woman brings to the table. And if you don't know, that's why you guys are in the situation you're in. You see, you, you see a lot of uh, red pill spaces that really, you know, they're about like really trying to embarrass women because a woman might be on the show and maybe she has a few kids from a few different baby daddies or whatever. And, and that's the number one question. What could you offer a man that you haven't offered a man already? All that shit is Kevin Samuel shit. Rest in peace. But I, I don't believe Kevin Samuels was that that's not what the pickup line was. That's not how you talk to a woman. Again, if you gotta if you gotta ask a, a woman what does she bring to the table, you've got no game. You got absolutely zero game, zero confidence, and you probably don't have a pot to piss in if you're asking her this question. You can't even take care of yourself. You're probably still living with your moms. You guys got to stop asking this question. What do you bring to the table? I mean, think about that. Think about that for a second. What do you bring to the table? What is a woman supposed to bring to the table? Like, honestly, aside from her beauty, aside from her femininity, her intelligence, aside from her having traditional values, aside from giving you children, when you guys decide to get married, take it to the next level, what she's supposed to be bringing to the table are the things that I just mentioned. Feminine, inspirational, beauty, right? KS, you say it all the time, FBI. Feminine, beautiful, and inspirational. And that's not a new phrase. That's a phrase that we always knew back in the day. We always knew that. But you guys like are coining this phrase, man, and you're using it in a way where it's disrespectful, not only to the woman, but it's it's kind of corny when you have to say this as a man, because you should already know a woman is going to bring that level of femininity to you inspiration her beauty the fact that she can she's going to be a good mother because you're asking the right questions from the very beginning what do you bring to it to the table is not one of those questions fellas you should already know if you got to ask that question then you already started off on the wrong foot if if you got to ask what do you bring to the table then what Basically, what you're what you're saying is, I know you have two or three children from two or three different baby daddies. What else do you bring to the table? That's what you're asking. And how is she supposed to respond to that? Well, I already fucked up two or three times. And so I'm gonna try to make it right now. I mean, it's a it's not a question that she could answer properly. And if you have to ask that question already, then you already chose the wrong woman from the start. If you if you have to ask a woman, what do you bring to the table? Aside from you having 30 bodies, 
three or four children from three or four different baby daddies. Think about it, man. You already started from the very bottom. That's not a question you should be asking a traditional woman, a woman who's beautiful, intelligent, super feminine, with traditional values. Possibly, if you can, find a woman that was raised by a strong father, a beautiful, feminine, inspirational, intelligent, super intelligent mother, a mother who raised her how to be a wife. Because what you're bringing to the table is the entire package. There is no 50 50. You, you should already have the house. You should already have your apartment or, or everything set. So that way, when you make that decision to bring a woman into your life, hopefully with no children, you already have everything prepared. You got the finances, you're working hard, you're looking good. You have everything she needs, man. And so asking this woman, what do you bring to the table? That's that 50-50 shit. So I know a lot of you that live in big cities might be like, well, you need two incomes to make it work. You need two incomes to make it work when you're not making enough money. When you're in debt, when you have an absurd amount of credit card debt, student loan debt, you know, and now you're trying to wife somebody and, you know, she's got to get a job to help pay for everything, the two bedroom, because she's expecting a baby and two bedrooms are like $3,500 now and you can't do it on your own. So then why are you doing it, man? You're setting yourself up for failure. This is why marriage marriages are failing at an all time high. I mean, there's so many other issues as to the reasons why, but you're starting off at the wrong foot. If you're asking a woman, what does she bring to the table, man? That shit is corny. What are you bringing to the table? Because if you got the house, you got the cause, you got the salary, you got the body, you got the intelligence, right? The motivation, you got all of that. She don't need to bring anything else but her womb to carry your children. That's some old school shit. I mean, that's 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 how I was raised. I don't see where you guys think that you got to ask these questions, these these dumbass red pill questions like, what do you bring to the table, mama? That shit is corny. What she brings to the table is herself. Her beautiful, feminine, intelligent self. Now, I'm not saying that a woman can't work. I'm not saying that at all. By no stretch of the imagination am I saying it can't work because if she wants to work, then she can work. But here's the big but. If she went to school and you guys got together when she's in her late 20s, early 30s, and she's coming in with a shitload of debt because she decided to go get her PhD or her master's, and now she's got $100,000 in student loan debt, right? And y'all get together and now you're going to have kids. Well, she's going to have to work, right? Unless you're willing to take on her debt and all the bills of the house. So that way she can stay at home and raise your kids. Unless you're going to do the dumb shit like I did when I was young and have to drop off the kids to the mom and the grandmom and the aunties and get the babysitters. And that's not the way to go. That is not the way to do it, man. So asking a woman what you bring to the table basically means that you don't have nothing. 
and you need help. And when you need help from a woman, naturally, she's going to tell you, I pay half the damn bills in this house. Don't tell me what to do. And when you put yourself in that position and then have children, you end up in divorce. So why take it there? Why go there, man? Make sure you got your shit together. Make sure what you're bringing is the table, the house, the bills are paid, everything is paid, and everything is on you. And what she's bringing to the table is her loyalty, her respect for you, her honor for you. She's going to take care of them kids. She's going to raise your daughters to be mothers, right? Great mothers. And she's going to allow... Nah, not allow, but she's going to stay in her place and let you raise your son to be the king that he is, man. That's the type of woman you want. Ladies, if you disagree, ask yourself the question. If you got more than two kids from two different baby daddies, would you want your son marrying a woman like you? Or would you want your son to try to find the right woman? with no children, staying married, never getting divorced, showing their kids the right way to live. If you disagree with that, you a modern ass woman. It is what it is. Modern, a modern ass woman. So gentlemen, Please do yourself a favor, man. Stop asking that questions, especially when you're on these YouTube dating shows, man, trying to holler and shoot your shot at these women. These women that are coming in. Look, look, the women that are coming in with children demanding shit. That should be a empty show. No one should be trying to holler at that. You can save that for the super simps and the super betas to go ahead and try to wife that. But you, the rest of us, need to fall back. There's a lot of women. There's more women than men in this world. And there's a lot of women that don't have any children. There's a lot of beautiful women out there that do not have any children, that are raised in a traditional household, that do come from two-parent households. There are women like that. And I'm not saying, again, let me make this clear. I'm not saying that your wife doesn't have to work. But maybe she can stay home until the child is old enough to go to school. And then if she wants to get her job, you know what I mean? Go ahead. Go ahead and work and, and do whatever it is you want to do. Whatever it is you want that, that, that would make you happy. Make you feel complete. Go ahead, baby. Knock yourself out. But make sure you don't lose that femininity within you. Make sure you're not out here trying to beat your chest talking about I'm the boss bitch in this house. No. Understand who you are, what your role is in this world. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking by it. Until next time, folks, I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>